Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I want to talk about the cheapest fragrance I have ever bought and let you know if I think it's worth a punt. Stay tuned. Every now and then a good cheap fragrance comes along and it blows your mind. It smells way more expensive than it costs. And it's always really satisfying when you make a purchase and you get so much bang for your buck. So I'm always on the lookout for good cheapies. My mate Dave put me onto this one. Does everyone have a mate called Dave? I feel like, I feel like everyone's got a mate called Dave. I do anyway. And Dave told me about this fragrance called Double Whiskey. It's from a French house called Everflow or Everflow. Never heard of it before, but he was singing its praises. He said, for the price it costs, it is well worth the investment. So I picked it up. Here we have Everflow, Double Whiskey. It's a 2009 release. Notes are apple, lily of the valley, mandarin, cedarwood, clove, sandalwood, patchouli, and musk. Uh, no whiskey. This was ridiculously cheap. The website I bought it from is selling it for under £10 plus a little bit of shipping on top of that. And I love a boozy fragrance. I love a bit of booze, especially whiskey. And uh, double whiskey. How could I resist double whiskey for under a tenner? The bottle looks okay. I've seen better, but I've certainly seen worse. I mean, at this price, I'm not expecting Swarovski crystals. Here's the, the very attractive box. Interesting. I mean, you know, there's there's something going on there. That some people may describe it as vomit inducing. I'm not, I'm, I'm just showing you the box. I think it's all right. It's got some shiny bits on it. Yeah, not, not too bad. It's the sort of presentation, the sort of bottle you would expect to find at, at some drugstore or pharmacy, just going cheap, just an easy fragrance to throw on. And it, it kind of is that, but you know what? I really like it. It's a woody, spicy, fruity smell. It reminded me a little bit, the boozy aspect of the fragrance reminded me a little bit of Mugler's Pure Malt, which you can't buy anymore. It doesn't have the sweetness or the intensity or that coffee accord you get in the DNA of Angel Men, but it, it's, uh, it's got a very, very pleasant boozy note in there, which I'm enjoying. Sort of reminds me of a vintage fragrance like a barber shoppy vintage fragrance with a, with a good dose of like a fun boozy whiskey note on top my experience with this is that as it dries down it gets a little woodier a little creamier it settles down really nicely it makes me think of a wooden cask you know a wooden cask that whiskey has been sat in for 20 30 years and when the whiskey's taken out and you smell the wood afterwards it's got that kind of smell about it and also mingled in with with the woodiness which provides the backbone of the fragrance it's got a really nice spicy quality coming from the cloves it's not too heavy on the cloves it's not an overdose it's just this really nice balance between this uh this wooden whiskey cask barrel and uh, spicy cloves Nice. If you love fragrance as much as I do, head over to my online store, luxparfum.co.uk. You'll find my favourite brands, plus brands you can't find anywhere else in the UK. Link is in the description. So I've mentioned this vintage vibe I get from it. It does smell a little bit like that, but I wouldn't say dated. It doesn't smell like something that your granddad's going to wear or anything like that. It's sort of got a class about it. I would say an easygoing class. It's the type of fragrance that you can grab, you could just wear casually if if you know you want to smell good and you want to have a little bit of classiness about your scents, but you could grab this and spray it on without thinking too much about it. So I guess I'm sort of saying it's a, it's a classy dumb reach, if you like. The thing that often lets fragrances down at this price point is it's not the opening because the opening smells really good, but it's the performance. How long do they last? Are they using ingredients that are quality enough to be able to extend the longevity to, to make it worthwhile spending £10 on it. Well, your performance is okay on this. I'll describe it as moderate. It's certainly not massive performance. I'm maybe getting four or so hours out of this. So if you want to wear it all day, it definitely is one that you want to reapply. But of course, at this price point, you can, you can just spray this willy-nilly. You can buy 10 backup bottles 
and uh, and you're good to go. So performance is moderate, it's not bad, it's not good, but I think it's better than what you would expect a fragrance at this price point to smell like. I've worn this a few times now and each time for a few hours I've ended up getting pleasant wafts which I've enjoyed. You could pretty much wear this whenever you want. It's not a heavy fragrance, it's not so heavy and woody that you wouldn't want to wear it in warmer temperatures. Having said that, I do think that the best time of year is autumn winter it just has a smell that i associate with that time of year it's got this woody coziness about it it's got that comforting boozy quality and uh, it's, it's quite fun as well but because it's got the barbershop vintage feel it gives it a certain degree of versatility because of this vintage feel i think it maybe leans a little older i think anyone over the age of 30 could probably get away with this. It's not super old and granddaddy, but it's not a youthful night out scent. So let's talk about the price. £10, well it was £9 and something. A little bit of shipping on top of this and it was about £3, so overall I paid £13 for this fragrance. The website I use, just in case you wanted to try this, I'm, they don't know I'm making this video, This is not sponsored, they're not paying me. It's purely if you wanted to buy the fragrance and know that uh, the place you're buying it from is legit. The site I used is called Makeup, dot uk and you know what i don't think it's a uk site i think they've done i think they've tricked me i think they put you you know these websites they put uk in the website and then they're not uk well i think this is one of those but it did arrive it took about a week i think it came from somewhere in europe i don't know where i'm not sure i have seen it listed on ebay and the sellers or the seller that i saw on ebay i think there's multiple sellers one i saw was was coming from poland so you probably will get it but just don't expect a fast delivery if it's not being shipped from within the UK. Maybe someone in the UK is selling it, I don't know, but from the, the looking that I'd done, the searching that I'd done, uh, it seemed to come from Europe. And I think this is a popular fragrance. I, I saw someone, uh, I think it was Fragrantica, say that this was a very popular fragrance in Europe, more so than the UK. I don't think here in the UK we know about it that much. And my mate Dave, he picked it up from France. Big in Europe, if you're watching this and, uh, and you're in Europe, let me know. Is double whiskey uh, a cheap fragrance that you all know about, but here in the UK uh, and maybe even in the States, we don't know about it as much. Right, what's the verdict? Double whiskey, worth a punt? I would say at 10 to 13 pounds including your shipping yeah i'd say it's worth a punt i enjoy it i like it it's nothing mind-blowing it's not going to change your life but it doesn't particularly smell the same as, as anything else that i've got it's nice to have an easy to wear casual fragrance that has a little bit of class a bit of that sort of vintage quality to it that you can wear in the autumn and winter time so i think it has a place in my collection i think going forward i i might be able to wear this fragrance a little bit so it's decent it's not going to change your life, but it's decent and I think worth a tenner. So I just wanted to make this little video because I've just had this for a few days. I didn't know about it until Dave told me and uh, maybe you didn't know about it. So I just wanted to let you know my thoughts and perhaps it's something you want to try out. What do you think about cheapies? Do you, do you like cheapies? Are they worth it? Are there some amazing cheapies out there that smell like they should cost hundreds of pounds? If you've got any recommendations, please let me know. I've got a couple of others sitting on the shelf over there, which I'm, I'm thinking about uh, throwing into a video. If you want to see a video about more cheapy fragrances, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, let me know what your favorite cheapies are. Give me some disgustingly cheap fragrances. The more disgustingly cheap, the better that you think smell like they're worth a lot more money. I would love to hear from you. All right, just a little one for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do all that, I will see you in the next one. Bye.